to apply for your student pilot certificate, you must first go to the IACRA website. That is iacra.fa.gov. From here, it'll pull up the main page. This is the Integrated Airman Certificate and Rating Application website. This is where you will go to apply for any new certificates or ratings that you seek. Before you can apply, you'll need to go over and register. Uh, come on over here to the register button. We'll click that. You will select the role you're registering for and that will be applicant. You're not going to worry about any of these other ones. You're an applicant because you are trying to apply for your student pilot certificate. Then scroll down, read the terms of service here, and click continue. You will not need to fill out uh, anything under the certificate information because, well, you shouldn't really have any certificates uh, since you're applying for a student pilot certificate. Fill in any personal information here and make sure, of course, you put in a really good email because uh, that's going to be the email associated with your account. Find any of these security questions, type in the answer, moving on, select any, uh, select a username or password that you're going to be able to remember. Now the password does have to be between about, I believe it's 12 and 50 characters long. Uh, you'll have to use uppercase, lowercase uh, numbers and symbols, of course. Once you're done, you can go and click register. Going to take you to the home page here you'll go to sign in with your username and password and you're going to sign in as an applicant now you won't see the recommending instructor here that's just because i am an instructor you will only see applicant so let's log in as an applicant this page of course also will be blank uh, unless you do again have any certificates we'll go ahead and just click on start new application this is pretty easy. It kind of walks you through it, but we'll go through just to make sure that you are familiar with it when you do go through and apply. So first we're going to have to find the application type, which is pilot. The, oops, the certification is student pilot and it's going to preload uh, everything else there for you. And then we'll click on start application. Uh, before I do that, it does actually reference a um, federal regulation that you can review. Uh, for any certificate requirements that pertain to your student pilot certificate. So I do suggest reviewing 6183 in your FAR, your FARs. All right, so click Start Application. From here, we're going to type in any of our personal information. It should preload. Uh, if it doesn't, go ahead and type it in, correct anything that's incorrect, uh, and scroll all the way down to Certificate Held. You are not going to need uh, to fill any of this out. So we'll make sure the airman certificate block is unchecked. We'll uncheck the medical certificate unless you do have a medical. Uh, if you do have a medical, you'll check this box and you'll type in everything is exactly as it appears on your medical certificate. So name of examiner should, uh, if there's any certain spaces or commas, put it in, like I said, exactly as it shows on your medical certificate. All right, so it should be FAA. It's either going to be a first, second, or class, second class medical. Put in the date that it was issued. And then, of course, hopefully you're able to put no in for the drug convic conviction box here. For the sake of ease, I'm just going to uncheck it. Uh, we'll go ahead and click no, save. And the basic issuance and pilot certificate, or excuse me, pilot time, you don't have to worry about that. You shouldn't really have anything to put in there uh, as of right now until you start getting uh, some of your training and flight time. For now, we'll just go to review and submit. And here is when it's going to ask you if you have applied for this certificate and been refused uh, this certificate or denied the certificate before. We have not, hopefully. So we'll click no. Here, you're going to just read over the information here. Review the Privacy Act. So read through. It's going to pop up a new window. Read through all of the Privacy Act and go ahead and hit close. Once that's done, we'll do the same thing for a review application. Uh, what happened? Let's try again. Is it missing something? Ah, I skipped this part. I apologize. Going back for the English language, you are required to read, speak, write, and understand English for your uh, student pilot certificate. So hopefully, uh, because you can understand me, we'll go ahead and click yes if you agree to that statement. Uh, and then going back, review application. 
This is going to show up your whole application. It's basically going to plug in all that data you gave it. Pop up window. If I can get it to open. <laughs> there we go. Review everything in your application here. And then we will go to close once we agree that it is all correct. Once we've reviewed everything, we'll hit submit application. And that's going to take us to another section where it gives us our application ID and our FTN number. I do want to stress the importance of the FTN number. This is going to need to be written down. I suggest write it down in your logbook because this is the number you will need to give your instructor when they are going in to validate any certificate that they are endorsing you for. Uh, and you'll, once you go sit down with an FAA examiner at a check ride, uh, this is the number you're actually going to give them in order to pull up your application. So you never want to sit down with an examiner and just be fumbling through looking for this. So put it somewhere easy and kind of that you can get to real quick. So that's why I always suggest put it in your logbook on the first or second page. All right, then from there, you will um, go back, give this number to your instructor. They'll go in and endorse a certificate, and then you'll go back in, fill out paperwork. And then hopefully within about a month or two, uh, your student pilot certificate will show up as a temporary, and then uh, eventually uh, a few months later or so, you will get the hard copy certificate in the mail. Easy as that.